All right, 848 on this Thursday morning. Out the door this morning, it is a very spring start. It is mild, humid. Uh, the winds have been, as you know, few days straight now have been very strong. Those winds have kind of settled down for the time being, especially Tulsa I-44, and that's actually out ahead of a cold front that is a main focal point for thunderstorms later today. So as you're stepping outside, we're in the upper 60s, near 70 degrees. Now, I want to mention this through the morning, and I'll mention it as well. If you're maybe not home until uh, later this evening or even late afternoon, wouldn't be a bad idea, Tulsa and especially north of Tulsa, to go ahead and take the jacket because your temperatures will start to fall by the second half of the day. And it's already falling north of Tulsa. Bartlesville, Coffeeville, you're now starting to drop right behind that front. Pahuska, Winona, mid 60s, but that front is literally like just like in your neighborhood pretty much moving in. It's in the low 50s in northern Osage County and still dropping. So as that front keeps moving south, it's a slow moving front. It's not moving extremely quickly, but it looks like by midday, closer to lunchtime, if not before then, that front is knocking on the door for Tulsa. And so for the second half of the day, look at the temperature trend for the Tulsa Metro. We climb into the low 70s and then after lunchtime, we're falling into the low 60s and by late afternoon, wouldn't be shocking for us to be falling into the upper 50s uh, for evening rush hour, maybe even before evening rush hour. The severe weather threats, this really hasn't changed a whole lot. Almost anywhere could see an isolated severe storm, but where you see that yellow shading is where there's probably a little higher concentration of thunderstorms that could be severe from I-44 to the south and east from late afternoon into tonight. And in addition to that, a flooding threat, I-44 to the south with that flood watch is in effect, but a sharp cutoff. You get northwest I-44 and yet again, rain amounts look like they're going to be a lot lighter. This is just kind of a, you know, a forecast look, some of our forecast model data that suggests where the heavy rains are going to be. And here's the legend up here. So when you're seeing the yellows and oranges popping up, that's the potential for two to three inches of rain, if not more. Notice there's quite a few swaths of that south and east of I-44, but look how sharply it cuts off to the north and west. And yet again, it's not out of the question that, especially on the cooler side of this front, around pa uh, Pawnee County, Osage County, uh, up into southeast Kansas, some of you may see very minimal rain amounts from this system, unfortunately, and then much heavier to the south and east where we don't really need it all that much from a drought standpoint. So here's how this uh, plays out on future view. It could be a spotty shower midday. The front drops into Tulsa by the midday lunchtime hour, maybe even before lunchtime. Temperatures falling. So this afternoon, much cooler to the north, much warmer to the south. Look at the low 50s around uh, Bartlesville and Coffeeville, near 80 degrees in southeastern Oklahoma. Storms firing up kind of in several clusters. Some of those could produce some pretty large hail at, at times. Not all of them, but a few of them could do that. And then we'll see just continued waves of storms through the night into tomorrow morning. And then we'll roll you through this through Friday as well with time uh, tomorrow, especially morning, the front will be pushing south, pushing a lot of the instability away from us and eventually starting to taper off the rain and storm chances. But we're going to keep that per uh, per percentage or potential of rain going into the first half of Friday. So there's several different chances on here, but that's for several waves of rain and storms from the second half of today overnight into tomorrow. And again, some could be severe, some locally heavy, much cooler area wide on Friday, light wind Saturday, and then up and down temperatures over the weekend into early next week.